Hello, good morning, and thank you so much for joining me. My name is Cindy from Living Acts 29 Ministries. We're going to continue our year in the Word with Matthew chapter 18. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus and said, Who is greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And they called a child to him and had him stand among them. I assure you, he said, unless you are converted and become a child, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever humbles himself like this child, this one is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever welcomes one child like this in my name welcomes me. But whoever causes the downfall of one of these little ones who believes in me, it would be better for him if a heavy milestone were hung around his neck and he were drowned in the depths of the sea. Woe to the world because of offenses. For offenses must come, but woe to the man by whom the offenses come. If your hand or your foot cause you to your downfall, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life maimed or lamed than to have two hands and two feet and to be thrown into the eternal fire. And if your eye causes your downfall, gouge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life with one eye rather than have two eyes and to be thrown into a hell fire. See that if you don't look down on one of these little ones, because I tell you that in heaven, their angels continually view the face of my father in heaven for the son of man has come to save the lost. What do you think? If a man had a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, won't he leave the 99 on the hillside and go to search for the one astray? And if he finds it, I assure you, he rejoices over that sheep. Moreover, the 99 that did not go astray. In the same way, it is not the will of your Father in heaven that one of these little ones perish. If your brother sins against you, Go and rebuke him in private. If he listens to you, you have won your brother. But if he won't listen, take one or two more with you, so that by the testimony of two or three witnesses, every fact may be established. If he pays no attention to them, tell the church. But if he doesn't pay attention even to the church, let him be like an unbeliever and a tax collector to you. I assure you, whatever you bind on earth is already bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth is already loosed in heaven. Again, I assure you, if two of you on earth agree about any matter that you pray for, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. For when two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there among them. Then Peter came to him and said, Lord, how many times could my brother sin against me, and I forgive him? As many as seven times? I tell you, not as many as seven, Jesus said to him, but seventy times seven. For this reason, the kingdom of heaven can be compared to a king who wanted to settle accounts with his slaves. When he began to settle accounts, one who owed 10,000 talents was brought before him. Since he had no way to pay it back, his master commanded that he, his wife, his children, and everything had to be sold to pay the debt. At this, the slave fell face down before him and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you everything. Then the master of the slave had compassion, released him, and forgave him the loan. But that slave went out and found one of his slave, his fellow slaves who owed him a hundred denarii. He grabbed him and started choking him and said, Pay that you owe. At this, that his fellow slave fell down and began begging him, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back. But this wasn't willing. One on contrary, he went and threw him into a prison until he could pay what was owed. When the other slaves saw what had happened and taken place, they were deeply distressed and they went and reported it to their master, everything that had happened. 
Then after that, they summoned him. His master said to him, You wicked slave, I forgave you all that debt because you begged me. Shouldn't you have also had mercy on your fellow slave as I had mercy on you? And his master got angry and handed him over to the jailers to be tortured until he could pay everything that was owed. So my heavenly father will also do to you if each of you does not forgive his brother from his heart. Thank you so much for joining me today for our daily reading. If you have any general questions, you can reach us always at info at livingacts29.com. If you have prayer or you have any prayer requests, you can reach us at prayer at livingacts29.com. If you need to reach me for anything, you can reach me at cindy at livingacts29.com. Please stay tuned for tomorrow for our continued reading of Matthew chapter 19.